America is blessed with an abundant supply of timber. It's our only renewable natural resource. The hardwood forests of Pennsylvania are second to none in species quality, providing excellent watersheds, recreational uses, mineral deposits, and fish and wildlife habitats. Pennsylvania has over 28 million land acres. The most common land cover is forest, which accounts for more than half of the state's land area. And of that forest land, over 70% is owned by private landowners such as yourself. In order to ensure future generations an abundance of timber and healthy forests, proper forest management must be observed. Weber Incorporated, with more than 50 years of experience, is a leading advocate of practicing sustainable forestry. Forest management begins here with a private woodlot. Harvesting or thinning out a woodlot is a necessary and critical step in assuring a healthy future growth much like pruning a tree or bush. Come with us as we show you step by step what you can expect when you decide to let Weber Incorporated harvest your timber. Our foresters are college educated and company trained. A staff of 16 resource managers and 10 field foresters serves private landowners within a 150 mile radius of Lebanon County. As a private landowner, you will be contacted by one of our resource managers who will discuss with you the various options on how to best manage your woodland. Your options include selection harvest, clear cutting, or a harvest to increase wildlife or recreation uses of the land. Our resource manager will walk with you through your woodland, giving you a first-hand opportunity to discuss what type of harvest is best suited to your needs and long-term goals. At the same time, you can point out to the resource manager certain areas that would require special attention. The next step is for our field forester to identify the boundary lines of your tract and to mark each tree that, in his opinion, is appropriate for harvest. This is done by measuring the tree to determine its value. The species is noted and the tree is then identified by a paint spot on the base and a paint spray on the trunk. The tree is marked to allow you, the landowner, to see what trees could be harvested, and should you decide to sell your timber, to allow the loggers to see which trees are to be harvested. In addition, the information is then tallied so the forester can arrive at a purchase price. With the aid of a computer, the value of the timber can be accurately computed. A map of the tract is also prepared, indicating the location of log loading areas, streams, and skid roads. A soil and erosion plan is also prepared at this time. All of these factors are taken into consideration when computing the value of the timber. The resource manager then prepares a proposal. Our contract is easily understood by the layperson and spells out the obligations of both Weber Incorporated and the landowner. After an agreement is reached, a payment schedule is determined. Both parties sign the contract and a down payment is made. Weber Incorporated has a government relations unit to assist and expedite the processing of any government permits that may be necessary to conduct your harvest. Before harvest operations begin, our resource manager and a member of our site preparation crew meet to discuss the location and size of log loading areas and the location of haul and skid roads. Proper site preparation is very important and must be done in accordance with all local, state, and federal regulations. Some tracts of woodland do not require extensive site preparation, for example, where fields are used to load logs. But if site preparation is needed, our professionals using modern equipment will prepare a suitable site. Water bars are constructed and culvert pipes are installed where needed to help prevent soil erosion and sedimentation pollution. An attractive company sign is posted to help locate the tract. When the harvest date arrives, a resource manager meets the harvest crew at the tract. Areas that require special care or attention are pointed out. Boundary lines are shown, and the objectives and concerns of the landowner are discussed. All harvesting is conducted by professional logging crews contracted by Weber Incorporated. Each crew is experienced and adheres to strict safety and company standards. The harvest consists of four basic operations, felling, skidding, loading, and hauling. Proper felling of trees is the first component of a quality harvest.
By using directional felling techniques, our loggers minimize damage or injury to the residual stand. Trees are topped and limbed at the stumps. Stumps are, where possible, cut low to the ground to ensure full utilization and allow improved access to the woodlot. In cases where there are multiple stem trees, fence rows, or rocks, or where trees are dangerous to cut, the stumps are cut to an appropriate height. If the landowner wishes, tops of trees are lopped to enhance the aesthetic value. Trees are then brought to the log loading area by a rubber-tired machine called a skitter. This operation is called skidding. Each log is then measured and bucked or cut to length and eventually loaded onto our trucks. Our logging crews range in size from a small two-man crew to large six-man crews. The smaller crews may cut the trees in length with a chainsaw and a self-loading truck known as a triaxle will do the loading and hauling. Some large crews use loaders with hydraulic saw bucks and tractor trailers for hauling. The logs are then hauled to our state-of-the-art mill located in southern Lebanon County, Pennsylvania. By using the most advanced technology, Weber Incorporated consistently produces high-quality hardwood products. The production of such high-quality products enables us to offer very competitive prices for standing timber. Our forestry department is responsible for the procurement, harvest, and transportation of logs. The use of computers in the department greatly improves accuracy and reduces time required to determine timber prices. Using computer technology, our resource managers gain quick access to the latest data on trends and developments within the timber industry. Department meetings are held regularly, where our resource managers receive the benefits of monthly training sessions and are apprised of current developments within the company and industry. The department office staff ensures that all messages coming into the office are referred to the appropriate resource manager so that a landowner's inquiry is quickly addressed. While most of our resource manager's time is spent in the field, cellular phones keep them in communication with the office, all in the interest of serving you, the landowner. When harvest operations have been completed, site cleanup begins. Log loading areas, skid roads, and haul roads are back dragged and stabilized using water bars where necessary. Water bars are mounds of dirt placed on skid roads and haul roads to assist in preventing erosion by slowing down water flow. The areas are then seeded with grass seed and mulched where needed. Then the resource manager will inspect the tract. When the landowner is satisfied, a release will be signed, closing out the contract. A Weber quality harvest gives the forest a chance to start anew. Soon after the harvest, the forest begins to rebuild. New trees will sprout from stumps and from seeds stored in the forest floor. Hardwood seedlings will again establish themselves on the site. The woodland has returned to its original purpose of growing trees and providing an excellent habitat for many species of wildlife, including deer, grouse, and a variety of songbirds. The harvest of timber is not the end of a forest, but rather the beginning of a new and more productive woodland. A selection harvest of your woodland leaves a residual stand for your enjoyment, while allowing a new stand to emerge, providing a continued supply of America's only renewable resource for you and for future generations.